Appendicitis is a potentially life-threatening condition that affects 1 in 15 individuals. It predominantly strikes children and young adults, and it universally requires an operation to remove the implanted appendix. While it's a common disease, we really don't understand what it causes. I became interested in studying appendicitis when I realized it was a disease of the modern times. It only emerged following the Industrial Revolution in Western worlds. And this information suggests that it's linked to the industrialization and urbanizations of society, which suggests that there's some environmental trigger that is associated with the development of appendicitis. And so my research is trying to figure out if air pollution could potentially be one of those factors linked to industrialization that might be associated with, with appendicitis. Our recent research finding, as published in the journal Environmental Health Perspectives, indicates that the air we breathe may be associated with perforated appendicitis. Specifically, we found on days where there was high concentration of ozone in the air, there was an approximately 20% increased risk of being hospitalized, hospitalized for perforated appendicitis. And this is an important finding because appendicitis is a potentially life-threatening condition, whereas air pollution is a potentially modifiable environmental risk factor. We studied 12 large urban Canadian cities such as Toronto, Calgary, Vancouver, and Halifax, which allowed us to identify over 35,000 individuals hospitalized for appendicitis. This allowed us to confirm that our observation or association between air pollution and appendicitis was consistent in most cities that we studied across Canada. The Snyder Institute offers strategic collaborations between investigators like myself and Dr. Mars by building bridges between investigators who can bring their collective experience to tackle complex health problems. Not only did Dr. Myers have a significant role in developing the study design and interpreting the results, he's also been a career guide and mentor since I joined the Faculty of Medicine in 2007. The University of Calgary Snyder Institute has played a major role in establishing collaborations such as that between myself and uh, Dr. Kaplan. When he first joined uh, the University of Calgary, he, I served really as a mentor to uh, Dr. Kaplan, but now we've been involved in numerous collaborative projects which have been beneficial to both of us. Um, the, the beauty of the, the University of Calgary Snyder Institute is that it links up uh, researchers with perhaps different areas of interest, but uh, uh, or that allows a different perspective on different problems. For example, Dr. Kaplan is a gastroenterologist, whereas I'm a hepatologist with an interest of, in liver disease. Although these are uh, uh, a bit different, uh, uh, we can apply similar techniques and, and ask similar questions in different diseases. This study and others like it, supported by the Snyder Institute for Chronic Diseases, will help the University of Calgary reach its eyes high goal by publishing high quality and impactful studies that help us understand the pathogenesis of the disease and allow us to translate scientific knowledge into opportunities to help protect the public. In our study, we showed that perforated appendicitis was more likely to occur on days where air quality was poor. We can do something about that, and that's how we could potentially help the University of Calgary reach the goal of eyes high.